Norma Jean Baker went on to become Marilyn Monroe, a 20th century American icon. Her marriages to Joe DiMaggio and Arthur Miller are well known. But in 1942, at the age of just 16, Norma Jean Baker married an aircraft factory worker known as Jim Doherty. She was very sweet, gentle, lovable. Uh, want to please all the time. Always wanted to please. And uh, great cook, good housekeeper, uh, wonderful wife. Jim Doherty met Norma Jean Baker in 1941. He was an Irish kid growing up in Los Angeles and his mother and her foster mother were friends. And it was her foster father who set them up on their very first date. They were having a Christmas party. He wanted to know if I would take uh, Norma Jean to the party and find a boyfriend for Bibi. And I did and I found out she's a very grown up 15 year old girl. She was tall and she was smooth. And, and dancing, and, and she was a good talker. She didn't talk like a little kid. Then Norma Jean's father was transferred to Virginia. The dilemma, they couldn't take a foster child with them. And if they left Norma Jean behind, she'd be returned to the orphanage. So a proposal was made. Grace came to my mother and said, would Jim like to marry Norma Jean? And uh, I said to my mom, I said, pretty young. She said, well, they're, they're leaving. She's going to have to go back into an orphanage if, if he, something doesn't happen. I said, I'll marry her. So we got married. She was 16, I was 21. For the first year of their marriage, Jim worked at an airplane factory and squired his beautiful young wife around town. We were at a uh, men's shop in Van Nuys one day, and uh, Roy Rogers came in. And boy, he made it right over for... Uh, Norma Jean, and I said, Roy, this is my wife, just to let him know what he was doing. Oh, he said, yeah, well, now you're a very beautiful lady, and then he took off. But uh, she, uh, she was recognized by everybody as being beautiful. Yeah. I thought she was beautiful. By then, World War II was in full force, and Jim joined the Merchant Marines. His lengthy absences and Norma Jean's desire to be an actress ended their marriage. Jim never had any children with Marilyn Monroe, but that hasn't stopped those who claim to be a long-lost child from showing up on his doorstep. Oh, yeah, I had a, uh, a lad come up from uh, New, uh, New Jersey, and he was a very, very dark Mexican boy black hair and dark brown eyes. And I met him over at the Village Inn. I didn't let him know where I lived. And he said, I'm your son. And I said, well, who's, who's, who's the mother? He said, Marilyn Monroe. And I said, we didn't have any children, but how do you figure it? She's blonde, blue-eyed, I'm blonde, blue-eyed, and you've got black hair and black, brown eyes. He said, I'm a throwback. I said, how far back did you get thrown? And uh, so he didn't work, so he went out to California to one of those Marilyn Monroe clubs and told him that he was uh, John Kennedy and Marilyn Monroe's uh, son. So he, he didn't get off very well. He, he didn't quite make it. It's to clean up stories like that and to defend the girl he says Marilyn Monroe really was that Jim says drove him to write his own book about her. Uh, Mickey Rooney uh, says that uh, he gave her the name Marilyn Monroe and uh, that she was married to a San Francisco policeman. Well, that's it's bull. She, he didn't give her the name. And she was never married to a policeman. I was uh, a merchant seaman when we were married. In the end, Jim remembers not Marilyn Monroe, but Norma Jean, a sweet, beautiful girl whose rise to fame cost her dearly. Jim Doherty currently lives in Auburn with his wife, Rita, who he says is a big Marilyn Monroe fan, which I think kind of makes Rita a saint. Jim's book is available on the...